Hey everybody, it's the doll boy and today I'll show you how to create a rooted look on your dolls and how to draw on baby hairs. On my Instagram I posted this picture of a doll that I gave roots and baby hairs for a more realistic look and I got quite some questions about how I did it so I decided to create a video about it. Before creating the roots I make sure to style the hair if needed. The doll I'm using in this video is a Barbie that I had laying in a drawer for a really long time. So her hair got this bump that I want to lay nice and flat. So I brush it all down the way I want it to lay and keep that in place with a rubber band. So I can boil wash the hair. After that I also added some curl to the hair. Then I take this eyebrow pencil and simply start coloring in the roots. You can give the doll just a really small root or take it down a little more. For this specific Barbie, I didn't go down really far, but just gave her some dark regrowth. As you might be able to tell, right now it still does look a little powdery. So I take a comb and use that to shake out the roots, which gives it a more natural look because you kinda set the powder in place. You can also use the little comb that is attached to the pencil but I prefer using my regular comb because that gets into the hair better. Then I simply repeat the same steps for the hairline. If you get some of the makeup on your doll's face, you don't have to worry too much about it because since the makeup is temporary, it's easy to remove. After giving the doll roots all over the hairline, you can see that the face did get a little stained. To clean this up, I take some damp paper and just wipe away the stains. Being careful not to touch the hair. And you're done! To wash out the hair, only using water does fade out the roots a little bit. But since this makeup is pretty waterproof, I am using soap to completely get it out. As you can see, using only one round of soap already gets her hair all the way clean again. Then for the baby hairs, I take some paint that matches the hair color. If I'm doing this for a doll that has multiple shades in her hair, I like to use the color of the hairline. So as you can see, this doll has an ombre with blonde tips and dark roots. So I'm gonna go for the dark brown root color. This specific doll has her part on the left side. And I wanna swoop the baby hairs away from the part. To paint the baby hairs on, I use several toothpicks. I personally like to start down by the ear to give me the ability to make some mistakes because these baby hairs won't show as much as the one that are closer to the part. I take my first toothpick and paint on a small swoop like this. And then I take a clear toothpick and drag that through the paint to help it give it more of a hair texture. So I just start by painting one swoop and then I'm breaking it up with that clean toothpick so that it looks like every swoop is made up of multiple strands of hair. So far I've only done these two classic swoops, but you can totally get creative with the designs of the baby hairs. So I'm also gonna give her this more elaborate wave. And then sometimes I like to go in and give the doll a little wave at the sideburns as well.
and for the other side, I tried to give the doll pretty similar swoops to give her a more symmetrical look. Then when you're happy with how the hairline looks, you just want to let it dry before styling the hair. And you're done! I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on your notification bell to make sure you'll never miss another video. And for more pictures of my dolls, follow me on Instagram as well, at the doll boy. See you next time!